Okay, <clears throat> was good, good people. So I figured this was gonna happen. <laughs> uh, this this your boy Ziggy, <laughs> Zigzag Ziggler. And right off the bat, like there was correlations uh, that I picked up on with uh, things he was touching upon, things I was touching upon with uh, the last one. I put out, and it's it's fucking beautiful. Like like I was uh, talking about, uh, maybe just in the description, uh, is the uh, <laughs> synchronicities that happen whenever we tap into this state of uh, not just waking up to what is quote unquote without or outside of us. That, to wake up to the lie, but we start to realize uh, what we can actually do about it and uh, where that begins, where that starts, and that starts within. And then we realize the correlations of as within, so without. And then you you super start to get tapped into these synchronicities uh, and find people that, that you vibe with uh, on pretty crazy levels to where, <laughs> you know, uh, you're watching something and then they're like, hey, hey, you should check this out. <laughs> you're like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm watching it fucking right now. It just happened for a couple of us uh, recently. It's fucking funny. So yeah, I'm going to let this guy talk a little bit and then uh, interject, add multiply a little bit <laughs> so uh right before this he was talking a little bit about deities and diet and uh um getting to higher levels of realizing How things affect affect you, and how how you let things affect you. Or whenever you're in a mentality where you you decide you're going to be in a certain state, no matter what, then that's going to be that's going to dictate your reality because it's your mentality. That's how this shit works. That's not to say that an accumulation effect will not happen over time if you keep putting bullshit in your body. You can have a mentality of yes, I am. God, I, I am the all that is, and I will not allow things to affect me in any, any negative way. But over time, the accumulation will build, and it will build inside the body. And if you are not finding ways to release this, then the uh, the sludge, the buildup, will start to have an effect, and it will start to slow your mind down. And with that, with the slowing down of the mentality the reality starts to warp as well as a reflection of what's going on inside of you as within so without this is just layers here people uh, that, that you will experience once you tap into deeper levels of quote unquote waking up or waking in into what is going on inside and how that directly affects your perception and how that perception is key to realizing what is happening out not just outside of you but it stems from within this is uh, bringing it all back to the origin point And no, it's not fucking all light, love and light out here. Like, this is this is an integration process. You have to integrate all of it. You have to go through the fucking dark nights and the hells. And, uh... I say, learn from the pain. And others say, pain is pain. There's nothing to learn from it. 
I don't learn anything from pain. That's and when people say that to me, I, I know like deep down they don't mean it because they're so caught up in the pain. The pain is so fresh and it's so fresh that they don't even want to like talk about certain levels and layers because it's it's uh they're still caught up in like um outer levels of why the pain happened and, and they haven't integrated enough yet to realize why it's a repeated fucking pattern bro B why do you think it keeps happening to you B oh I've already done the work do you know how many fucking times I've heard that shit Evidently, you haven't done enough work if you keep repeating your shit, B. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go off a little bit there. <laughs> that was to a specific someone. <laughs> but, uh... Dude, I, I fucking get it. Like, you don't, you don't want to hear, uh... Basically, that it's an inside job whenever... You have just been fresh out of getting your fucking heart ripped out and having, basically having your, uh, it's not an original wound because you don't realize your original wound yet. You don't. But it's, uh, it, it keeps poking at the, the original wound. And whenever that happens, uh, you, you don't, you don't really want to hear that shit about integration and, uh, going within. Even though you fucking know that that's, that's what you need to do. That's what it's about. That's how you transmute, transcend the, the fucking uh, experience. You are repeating shit and patterns for a reason, people. Pay attention. Not just to what's happening outside. That's actually not what you need to pay paying attention to. You just need to be able to see and recognize, hey, there's a pattern happening. What's going on inside of me that is causing this pattern to repeat. And if you don't think that it's an inside job, if you think that you've already done the work, then you're just going to keep repeating the fucking sh same shit, people. And like I've said before, like you you fucking know this deep down. This I'm not I'm not telling you shit that you don't already know. I'm speaking to the choir. Deep down you fucking know this shit. So let's get real with this shit and wake up. To what's going on within. And get real and get clear. And. This goes right into fasting. Right into what true nutrition really is. And you have to experience this. Engage this for yourself. Um, and it will become clearer and clearer. When it's, once you engage the. Less is more. Once you start taking out and taking more and more out, and you start to realize that, hey, I can exist and live off of fucking water and do this for so long that your body starts to eat up all the bullshit that you have collected inside, then your mind gets really fucking clear. Then you start to really wake up. To some deeper level understanding. And I say that because you've done the work within. So it's going to be reflected to you without. Things will come to you. Information, guidance, people will come to you. Reflecting this inner work that you have done. Don't take my word for shit. Do it for yourself and you'll fucking realize it. That's why we out here fucking talking about it. Because we've done it. Okay, so that's my fucking 9.30 intro. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, but are you really honest with yourself and have you sat with yourself? Because I've done these experiments where I say I'm God, I'm Source, but do I really believe that? Or is it my ego that's actually saying that I am God? You hear what I'm saying? That I am the Source of all power, the, the empowered Source. Do you really know yourself completely well and deep enough to even admit that to yourself? 
to admit, is it ego talking or is it, or is it something uh, deeper? Is it coming from like a, a spirit and soul place to where it, uh, the ego uh, kind of takes a side seat because it realizes, oh shit, like there's a clearer message coming in. The ego sits to the side until it's needed, until we choose to utilize the ego and then we engage and we have the choice. We make real what we choose to create in the mind. That's when the ego comes into play. That's when whenever, whenever we choose to engage the ego and utilize the tools that we have available within us. Waking up to what we have available within us. Which is vastly more than you have been led to believe. Whatever people are saying, it's it's all inside. And yes, that may seem new agey and um, kind of like escapism. Uh, it's once you tap into deep, deep levels of manifestation, of of creation, of existing in the monad, in the silence, in the stillness, and within that no thing, you experience the everything, then you will come into gnosis and direct experience that everything is inside. It is an inside job. So this, this is what he's talking about. Uh, you, you can, you can... You know, say one thing and think one thing, but if you're not putting in the work, then you're not you're not actualizing it. We we can read shit for all fucking day, and this is what we've been taught to do with the indoctrination system, with the scholastic system, is to read shit and regurgitate shit, and not integrate anything. So you can be out here talking shit all fucking day, but for people who have actually experienced shit, we can see that you're you're fucking full of shit. It's bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or will the ego prevent that from happening? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people still have their consciousness or their, their mentality still really rooted to this body. You know what I mean? To some extent, you still, still think you are this body. If I come out and insult you... Yes, and I will just kind of clarify a little bit. Uh, You are absolutely the body because you are absolutely everything. Now, the spirit, which is really what you are, is you're a uh, shard, a soul shard of a spirit, and and that that is uh, animating the physical vessel. But that does not mean that you are not the physical vessel. Hell yes, you are. And as you get clearer and clearer on what you really are, the quintessential essential essence of what you are your physical vessel will transmute and translate and uh, become more attuned to this and you will see people completely transform their bodies uh, in a whole myriad of ways because of the mentality that happens because of the realization that happens So it's not simply, I'm not this body. It's, yes, you are, but you're much more as well. And uh, before you really start to um, engage in going, quote unquote, out of body, you need to be able to inhabit your body first because once you're able to get out of body you're not going to have any kind of uh, bearing points or grounding to uh, be able to navigate uh, that realm so you have to inhabit your body be in body before you go out of body so that you can actually get some fucking work done and learn some shit by by doing that and it correlates and and translates uh, with each other like tapping into being super in the body and then 
engaging with uh, deeper levels of meditation, going in trance, going out of body, um, tapping into dream work and lucid dreaming, they all correlate with each other. and meld into each other. Who are saying something to you, you know what I mean? Um, the majority of people are gonna defend themselves and feel offended, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's not about, you know, letting people walk all over you, but there's also a fine line between, you know, what comes your way and why it even comes your way. Blam. If it's happening to you, then then it's it's happening for a reason, and that reason is because there's shit inside of you that you uh, are ignoring. And I'm talking about the 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 loop patterns here, the repeated programs that they keep happening. Maybe uh, why you're offended or triggered, or why you have uh, an emotional state happen repeatedly, and oftentimes people don't recognize the patterns at first. Right? For for the vast majority they never realize the patterns. But once you start to wake up to that then you can start to wake up to why is this happening? What is going on? And you'll you'll search and search uh for, for things outside to fix your problems. That's not because you've been taught to do that through your education system. It's not to uh, distract you from what's going on inside of you because you are the fucking power source of goddamn reality. You are the one creating it. The this, this shit that you see outside of you, guess what? That's all fucking you. All fucking day, motherfucker. Don't take my word for shit. Sit in silence for, for long periods of time. Do deep fucking fasting and meditation. And come to this realization for yourself. Experience Gnosis. Engage the direct experience for yourself. You have access to this. You can do this for yourself. Don't take anybody else's word for anything. Until you've put in the work for your fucking self, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I've, I've realized this through experiments of my own. All right? See, if you want to eat, I eat like a god, okay? <laughs> but if I'm eating like a god, I'm also eating with a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yes. See, a god doesn't need to eat physicality. He eats in other ways. You know what I'm saying? But that's also another little topic where exactly. it's still coming out from the ego. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, there's a fine line between... The stuff that's said and what is actually being done. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Um, being in the same frequency as the sun, right? I mean, if you're looking at the sun, right? A lot of people, you know, they say, uh, I'm looking up at the sun. This is why I wanted to kind of include this. Because right when I saw the uh, the title of this, which is, uh, there's, what, what is it? There's nothing new. Nothing new. Oh, under the sun. K N E W. And right, at, right. I I've been to the place where I'm so sick of people saying that and hearing that because that's absolutely not true. Because that takes away from uh, the uh, the creation. It, it's that saying is the exact same dogmatic bullshit of religion. They keep you in fear. They keep you in a place that oh. Uh, you know, you have to pray to a god, to a uh, idol, to an imaginary person that may or may not have existed. And uh, these 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 words in, in in this book that have been written by man. Oh no, they're, they're the word of God. Uh huh. That's not to say that there's not wisdom to be had there. Uh, 
especially whenever you start to understand uh, certain ciphers and codings of reality. Because there are many layers to the shit people. <laughs> so right off the bat, I'm like, ah, nothing new under the sun, huh? I'm like, well, that's that's not true, so we'll see where we go with this. And uh, he went right into it, what I was... What, what I kind of knew he was going to go into. Which is the wording. Uh, under. Oh, if you're going to be under the sun. Then you're caught in the mentality of the globe mind. As in the uh, scientism mind. Because yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna have knowledge underneath shit. So you have to uh, raise your level to be to to rise. You have to rise to meet it. Okay. And then you have to um, become the the origin point, um, the the horizon, to where you're you're right there on the point of creation. And that is where everything is new and old. And it's not necessarily that it's all been done before, but it's that it's that there's a lot that has been done that you do not know anything about because you're not you have not been privy to that information or taught that or um have not opened yourself up yet to this uh, kind of gnosis. And it's not about finding things. It's not all about being guided to things and finding things. But I mean, that's part of the process. That happens. But you, you can tap into deep levels of meditation and stillness and silence and experience uh, everything. You can, you can experience things that you have been taught to believe um, are not possible, as in distilling your breath to the point where you are not breathing anymore, as in your breath transforms into something else. And then you pop out and you access different levels of awareness. You access um, different bodies, you could say astral bodies now <clears throat> when you're in the same frequency as the sun you're in the same level as the sun you're not under the sun yes you hear what i'm saying it's so uh uh weird to explain because if you really like look at it from a directional standpoint of view there's really no up there's no down i mean it's really basically uh, just a position or a point that you're put in. I could be laying down, right? And <laughs> I'm, I could be looking at the sun at, let's say, high noon, 12 o'clock. I'll be right directly underneath the sun. But in my mentality, all right, that picture is actually flipped vertically. So I'm not really laying down. I'm actually standing, but with a with a floor on my back. It's it's a... Uh, Do you get that? I don't know if you, if you have ever meditated and felt like even when you're laying in bed or let's say you're in a position, but then yet you try to pretend you're in a different position in your bed. It's a really trippy kind of feeling. Bro. <laughs> Motherfucker. I've been doing this shit. Uh, more and more. Um, in my in my yoga classes, whenever we are in, uh, it's called Shavasana or corpse pose. I, uh, I pop out, dude, and I'm, okay, uh, let's, let's cool it the fuck down so that I can articulate the linguistics a little bit to translate this transmission a little bit clearer. Whew. So, whenever you're laying down, First and foremost, um, there's no limitations, and especially in the dream realm, uh, you may have read that you have limitations 
you know, you don't have fucking limitations, okay? And if you do, it's your limitations that you have set up for yourself. You have allowed the limitations to happen because of the boxed-in mind state. So whenever I am lying down, I will do a myriad of things. I will uh, project a uh, my my astral image. Um, also lying down um, with with kind of like a double image. So like there's there's my body and then there's the astral body with um, both of the heads touching and then both of the feet like you know um, away from each other. And then I'll do that. I will do, um, and it all depends upon the positioning because it's all mudras out here and, and positioning and frequencies. The the mudras and the uh, positions of yoga and the asanas. It's all about frequency and flow and engaging a certain energetic. So if I have my arms out, I will imagine that I am my my second body, you could say. You can you can call it a second body and the astral body is uh lied is mirrored next to me with his arms uh kind of out as well to where we are uh holding hands and I like to do this whenever there's a lot of people in the class because then I imagine like an overlay happening of um, multiple bodies being um, layered out and, and all of us connecting and holding hands. And then I also superimpose that and make it larger into a more uh, expansive awareness, collective awareness. But uh, oftentimes I will, and I'd done this from an early age before I even knew what the fuck I was doing. I'd pop out and imagine myself standing, um, just just in the middle of the room or just wherever, and disengaging the body, stilling the body to the point where you uh, you kind of give more feeling. You you start to translate the sensations from the physical body to this astral body or secondary body and with this trans translation transmission uh, of sensation you, you start to have more perception happening with with the astral body so you start to become uh, more perceptive and, and your vantage point then shifts from your physical body to this astral body and then you start to see the things around you and you can experience this for yourself this is this is a uh, not not a very difficult thing to do to to uh, tap tap into that and start to see the things that, that are, are around your immediate surroundings. That, that's pretty basic stuff. And, uh, yeah, of course, it takes time to, to even get to that point. Absolutely. So I say it's, it's not that difficult, but, I mean, if you're not used to anything, if you're not used to um, conceptualizing anything like this, then it's not going to seem possible to you until... You sort of engage it. And like ZigZag said here, you know, uh, what it really is, is not just imagining, or, or no, he said pretending, I think he said. <laughs> but it's uh, tapping into our focal point. And at first, you know, maybe you do kind of have to pretend like, oh, hey, maybe this is a reality and I can do this. And then you, you start to make it more and more real. And this is, absolutely comes into the power of your dreams, of lucid dreaming, of reclaiming your seat of power. Do that. 
But I've actually managed to come out of body doing that because I was able to Absolutely. picture myself in a different position that I was actually aware that I was actually in. Yes. All right. I hope I explained that well. But well, if you didn't, I think I did for you. <laughs> but yes, I mean, okay. And also, I experienced myself like being lay, laid flat on the ground and then being um, a layer underneath the ground. And looking up at my body and feeling that layer and then also uh, above my body um, even like uh, sitting lo in lotus position on, on my physical body's chest um, there's there's no limitations here and there's no right or wrong here there's what works for you what 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 do you feel works best for you what are you inspired to engage? That's all it really is. There's no fucking right or wrong out here. It's what works and what doesn't. And if it does work for you, then keep engaging it. If it doesn't, let it go. Maybe you'll come back to it in another time, in another space and place. Maybe not. Okay, so yeah. I have a card here that I drew, of course. And I saw what it was. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> that's that's uh, exactly. <sighs> exactly it. So let me find the adjustments. Good. You see that? The star. The the eight. The uh, 17. The... The uh, infinity symbol. So that, that was the illuminated mind. So that's, that's... What the fuck we're out here talking about, dude? Like, come on, man. Do, do you get it yet? The, the synchronicity shit. Like, it's not... Uh, happenstance it's happening because of the shit that we're tapping into inside and beginning to understand the correlation of as within so without so the illuminated mind is an illuminated heart and illuminated body and a frequency of tapping into could call it a godlike state, but it really it's it's very human because it is your true human. The the many hues that man, as in human, has access to the homeostasis, the center, the eye of the hurricane, the star. A luminous woman floats. Of above a mountain lake, she pours an endless stream of water from two ornate vessels onto the rocks and water below. A bird swoops through the air around her as a dazzling star as dazzling stars light up the sky. The star brings healing and wholeness. Her appearance promises renewal, instilling us with hope and optimism. She foretells calm and peace, particularly after difficulty and the chance to begin again. The star fills us with inspiration and understanding. Understanding. 
she pours out her blessings freely, spreading compassion and kindness among people. She knows that life can never empty her out. There's always more love to give. But I will add that you have to fill your own cup up first before you can do that. If the star graces your reading, breathe deeply and feel her healing waters flow through your life. Yeah, that, that's fucking good shit. That's actually a direct uh, correlation for me from what I just experienced earlier tonight, which was a uh, remembrance. So it, it was actually the card that I just drew in my previous uh, video. I, I just experienced that tonight and then had the uh, upliftment happen of the card that I just pulled right now. The, the remembering. Uh, basically, like uh, a friend helped me remember um, what is within again because um, he was able to get out of the bullshit that he's usually caught up in and then we were able to just kind of like be around each other one on one and those are the uh, interactions I like to have because that's whenever the truth really comes out especially whenever you're amongst a real motherfucker the truth will come out and that's, it's not a forcing thing. It's just, it, it fucking happens. So what was mirrored back to me is an appreciation, a love, a uh, deep knowingness of uh, an understanding of uh, why I am in that person's life and how grateful they are for that. So that, that was beautiful to experience. Always is for, for everyone. To uh, have an acknowledgement happen that uh, the things that you feel are very fucking real and very true. Even if, you know, a lot of times people are so caught up in the fucking bullshit rat race that they can't always be true to that. Uh, we can come across moments where people are able to remind us. That the things inside of us are very real indeed. So yeah, that that's it for this one. Uh, shout out to all you real motherfuckers for putting in the work. We out you and we feel you on so many fucking levels beyond the body but also absolutely um, encompassing all of the body every, every little fucking cell dude like I feel I feel you guys in my fucking body I don't know if that may sound fucking weird but I mean I feel myself in you guys' body as well <laughs> That's not, that's not a sexual thing. That's just a uh, deep level of integration thing. So yeah. Keep doing your thing. And feeling the real. And engaging. What you need to engage. To get clear again. Peace.